Today, we're driving through Little Rock, Arkansas, as we take an inside look at my brother's 1994 Jeep Cherokee Country. This is without a doubt one of the sketchiest vehicles I've driven so far, which is exactly why I think it's the perfect vehicle to be featured on my new series. Welcome to Jason's Driven. I can get you anything you want without a settlement You say speed up, I say it's petty, but I've been pedaling Gucci and Gabbana with the pedal pin A hundred K and a duffel inside the chunk of an elephant I'm just Hello everybody and welcome back to what I'm doing today Call me restart Oh my bro, god Bro, I put my finger in my ear, bro Why would you do that? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to what I am doing today. What I am doing today is I'm driving my brother's 1994 Jeep Cherokee Country. That's correct. Mm -hmm. 4.0 liter, inline six. six. Gang, gang. We got a lot of uh, buzz, buzz. Huh? Bro, you gotta press this brake down hard. You wanna go over the controls? Like, uh, where the f wipers <laughs> are? Like what that sound is? I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> All right, so talk about this car. Jeep. I got this some. Um, a year ago, two years ago. I had it at the house some two years ago. I got this thing, three thousand dollars. Sketchy as hell. I don't know what size tires are on it. I don't know what size lips on it. The alignment's all off. What's up with this headliner? I don't know anything about this headliner. What about the carpet? This is commercial grade carpet. So this is Dude, this is a scary thing to drive. Cubicle gray carpet. If you've ever worked in an office, you'd be very familiar with this carpet. Uh, it doesn't hold as much moisture. It doesn't have any kind of sound dampening pad or anything. So at least it's not the interior carpet of a house. It would hold a lot of water because this some <laughs> leaks. <laughs> it's shag carpet in it. Hell no. I remember when you're looking at two Cherokees. Well, the burgundy looking one. That one was badass. Yeah. So what made you settle for this one? <laughs> This one was only 20 minutes away, and the other one was in Jonesboro. It was like four hours away. Oh uh, yeah, brace yourself. It was also like five grand. Bought this because I flipped my 87 Bronco into a ditch off of uh, Crystal Valley by the quarry. For all you local folks. You need several cameras. You know, once I get more views, maybe I can upgrade my cameras. That's just up to whether or not they want to like and suction, subscribe. We're currently suction cup to a broken What's that vibrating noise? What vibrating? <laughs> you heard it so much, you don't hear it anymore. This thing's got all the bells and whistles. Something exciting is that. I can wreck this bitch right now if you want. Oh, no, you just go. Not let them finish parking. Oh, don't hit the gas like that, dog. I got a lead foot. You got any plans with it? Fix the AC. I thought you were going to say sell it. The AC doesn't work. I retrofitted it and put some Freon in it and it was cool for like a week. There's a 5 up coming up on the right. Oh, I mean, I can do some donuts right here. No, don't do that. Which yeah, is funny because people... Are you serious? Oh my god. He turned. I was about to say, dude, you got 15 points on your license, <laughs> bro. What's the car you want to get next after this? It's kind of up in the air, bro. Like, I want to get a pickup truck. I've never had a pickup truck. I've had trucks, I had a Bronco. It's kind of half pickup, half SUV. Got a Jeep, but I've never had just straight up pick up bed and all overrated. So I think, honestly, honestly I, I as much as I like as much as I'd like to get like a like a fucking square body Chevy or something like that, why do babies always look so bow legged? <laughs> I, I don't know. Probably because everybody sets them on their on their knee with one leg and they're just like straddling it. Or they put them in those little backpacks. Yeah. Or even a swing. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Slide it now? No. Part there? That's handicapped. Man, well, this car's kind of handicapped. I'm thinking we go down by the river. Where were we? Should we just start over with the whole thing? I don't know, but uh, you're going to be doing all these videos and shit. You're going to Yeah, I'm going to figure it out, but this no, is going to put work, gas but... in my shit. I'm not going to let you drive my car and pay for all the gas. <laughs> I'm not to the point where I can afford that yet, bro. Well, then you're not to the point where you can make this motherfucking video. I'm <laughs> yes, I am. Come on, let's go to the river this thing drinks gas let's talk about that bro the 11 miles to the gallon 11 my bronco got nine <coughs> let's talk about your motorcycle i mean okay you gonna let me drive that too hell no bro what that shit's worth almost as much as your brand new car dude. you have to let me drive it Bro, this sucks. It's a Jeep, bruh. I ain't gonna 
don't let you make no video with my truck. You just I'm gonna slide it. sideways. No, you're not. Right here, I am. No, you're not. Video will be over, bro. You can go off road and do whatever the f you want in a field, not in the woods. Not in the woods? No, you can slide sideways into a tree. No, we're on the road right now. Why are you, why are you talking about the woods? I'm saying if we were off road in a field, not on the city streets downtown Little Rock, you did it all the time. In a Cadillac. Yeah, this isn't a Cadillac. <laughs> You're damn right. Yeah. I remember I had to drive this for two days. What was it? One day or two days? Whatever it was, I was sick and tired of driving it by that time, dude. I was like, I'm ready to get back in my car. I slid to a stop one time. Hell yeah. I be doing that all the time. It's scary too. Like, I hope this motherfucker stops. Bro, I about wrecked a Saturn the other day, dude. And this dude did a U-turn right in front of me. Like, he was sitting there waiting. And then as soon as I was about to pass him, he fucking pulled out. I've stood up on that motherfucker. Brakes, bro. bro. I was like, skrr, skrr, skrr. we're going straight towards the fucking curb, bro. Think I'll get stuck in this? Hell no, it's a four wheel drive. If you have anything that interesting to talk about, just talk about it, bro. Anything you think's funny, bro. It doesn't have to be about the car, it's just you about having done. fun and drive. Huh? You can get it done or something. Right here? Yeah, just don't go off the cliff. Is your traction control? Do you have that? I don't have that. <laughs> Dude, I think Dad's gonna take a, the German Shepherd. He is. For those of you who don't know, I, I bought a German Shepherd. Literally everybody doesn't know. I live in his one bedroom apartment with him, and I told him I wanted to get a German Shepherd, and he was like, don't do it. Call me before you make a decision. No, I said, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Don't even think about it. And you were like, well, I already told him that I'm gonna go look at him. I was like, well, that's fine. Just don't come home with one. This man called me an hour later and was like, so I looked at the puppies and I was like, okay. And I left a smooth 10 seconds of the pause. Yeah, and I was like, okay. And he was like, <laughs> and I got one. And I was like, you are an idiot. <laughs> yeah, dude. If I didn't get the dog, dad wouldn't have a companion. And he'd be pet. fine with that. No, he loves that dog, dude. Only because he's rescuing it from you. He's not rescuing the dog's perfect. Well, Nah, no, he's rescuing that dog, cause that dog would be in the shelter if he could take him. I'd have taken that motherfucker straight to the shelter. I can definitely take care of him, dog. No, you can't. You don't have the time or the money. Everybody doubts important. me in every single decision I make. Bro, that's because your decisions are f***ing poo, bro. Dude, you better calm down over there. He's <laughs> probably just trying to drive over a bridge and the car wants to slide. You gotta drive this car or it will drive you. Never that. <laughs> oh, yeah, huh? Bro. <laughs> Damn, my back hurts, bro. My back been hurting all day. What'd you do? Went to sleep. We <laughs> <laughs> got rest. You gotta get your foot inside the cart. You had to get hit by the curb. This is not a stoplight, bro. Oh. <laughs> bro, I was sitting there for a minute. You literally work down here, bro. The fact that my coworkers are in there getting hours, I'm not. The fact that this Porsche just spent some money and not on you. I'm really trying to work my way up and like fly airplanes, bro. Hell no. <laughs> yeah, dude, why not? I can fly an airplane. I need to get a Mustang. No, you don't. You always gotta kind of make it easy with a Mustang. Yeah, at first. no sh You got no, not at first. Always, bro. And you gotta have that traction control on always, and you gotta no, have always. ABS. Is this deep rub? Do your tires rub? Yeah, that full lock. I guess that concludes the first episode of Jason's Driven. Jason drives. Jason's driven. Jason's driven. Yeah, drives. That's not even grammatically correct. Jason's driven, as in like Jason's motivated and Jason's driven said cars. You gotta come up with a better name because Jason's driven is like possessive and then past tense. Possessive past tense that don't even go together. Jason's driven. Jason's driven a Lamborghini. Jason's driven a Jeep. Jason's driven this. Jason's driven that. Jason drove. Jason's <laughs> drove. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't think of it, another name for it. This is why I didn't introduce the video in the beginning. The f is that? Turn the headlights off. What the f 
fuck was that? I've never heard that sound in my life. I have no idea, dog. That's what your car. The? I heard it once when I was driving it. What? Yeah, I guess I just didn't turn the lights off. Oh, that's dope. Does it honk at you or something? No, but it's kind of like like a modern car where it goes ding, ding, ding when you leave your car, your keys in it or something. Yeah, that's mm. a reminder, like turn off no, the headlights. No, I, I think it's broken. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. No, it's probably not supposed to sound like that. Oh. Dude, your horn, your horn sucks. Bro, low key, I thought you were pulling in this gas station to put gas in my that's tank. Why I, that's why I parked <laughs> over here, because I knew you were thinking I was going to put gas in yeah. So that concludes the first episode of Jason's Driven, featuring Ryan's 19... 94. 94 Jeep Cherokee. Alright. <laughs>